Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raven's Nest, and it's time for some more Ziggurat. Uh, I couldn't make the daily challenge for today's video, so I decided to take advantage of a new game mode that just came out in Ziggurat in an update this week, and that I haven't even tried yet. So I shall try it right now. And uh, it is called Gauntlet Mode. No idea what it is. But if I am to actually play a Gauntlet Mode, I am thinking... Uh, who am I taking for this? I know Hadar is tanky as all hell, so that could be an idea. Scythe, Miguel, Simon, Menzi. Oh, Menzi! For the beginning of each fight. Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Menzi. Gauntlet mode, Menzi. Let's do this. Halls of Despair. Okay, we're in. Got a room here. Got the Fire Weaver Bomb. Definitely not my favorite weapon, but we're gonna have to go with the flow here. Wave 1! Oh, so it's, a, it's an arena kind of thing! So for Wave 1, I have to kill... Are they actually... Okay. Come on, give me the XP. There we go. Whoa, Storm Beast. Have a grenade. Oh, Salamander. I want to get away from that. Gotcha. Run. There we go. I'm all out of mana right now. Which is quite bad. With my wand. Actually, kind of suck. We're already in wave four. Oh, so they don't wait for you to finish the wave. Okay. I see. I see what you're doing here, game. You decided to just fuck me over. That's what you see. That's what you're doing. Whoa. Forgot about the salamander for a second. Run! Grab the XP. Level 2. We might have a chance here. Uh, ignore wounds. Some hits will do no damage to me, which is perfect. The orcs are definitely a priority here. It's all about choosing your targets in this mode, from what I'm seeing. The salamander should definitely be a target. It's just that these banshees are freaking overflowing me. Okay, so... Take out the salamander. If you don't miss, that is. Ow! Okay, getting caught in stairs. That is very, very bad. That's a lot of banshees over there. Holy shit. And we got some jumpers now. You might want to run. Dear God. Please give me another weapon. Holy shit. I need... I need a weapon here. Storm Beasts. I needed more Storm Beasts in my life. Obviously. I see some XP. There we go. Run over, run over, run over. Oh, I forgot the Banshees could body block me. Crap. Oh, man, that sucks. I really forgot that they could body block me. You know what? We're only four minutes in. I'm going to give it another shot, but I'm going to take another character. I'm going to be a bit smarter about this. Uh, because now I know <laughs> what's going on. I'm going to take one of the weapon specialists. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Algarab, actually. I'm going to go with Algarab. Uh, a good alchemy weapon should help me clear out rooms faster is what I'm hoping for here. Uh, so I got a magma rifle, I believe. Yes, that's what it is. And 
a Gemini staff. That is why I wanted to start with a specialist, is to possibly have two weapons. Okay. Wave number one. Plants. Really? I want to make sure I can't get a... Come on, open up. There we go. Imps are not easy to shoot with this thing. At least not at a distance. You know, I gotta I gotta get in up close if I want to be effective with this thing. There we go. Grab all of this. Carrot. Ow. Oh. Ow. There we go. What else? What else? What else do we have on this godforsaken map? I had never seen this little spot of water. That is a brand new room. I have never seen this room designed before. That is sweet. The level designers actually went ham on this. They went ham sandwich on this thing. It looks gorgeous, first. And second, holy crap. <laughs> second, holy crap, I'm about to die. Uh, okay, level two. I'm going to go for Alchemy Mastery just to boost up my Magma Rifle as much as I possibly can. I see a lot of skulls right now. I see a skeleton as well. These can die pretty quickly, if I'm not stupid. Uh, Bone Summoner. If that is not a priority target, I don't know what is. Same for the Storm Beast. Come on, please die. Okay. Now there's a bit too much traffic over here. I don't like it. Come on, please die. There's just axes flying everywhere. All right, let's clear out some of these dudes. Okay, we're up to level three now. I wanna go for spell proficiency even though I don't have a spell? That health potion would have been useful if I hadn't eaten the frickin' lightning bomb to the face! Ow! Oh, please give me my XP! Holy shit! Okay, made it to wave 11, which is already a bit better than last time. Gotcha. Oh, I got 7 HP, and I heard carrots. Yep. I wasn't wrong. I heard carrots. Poison carrots. Which is even worse than normal carrots like this one. And I'm dead. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That is... That is rough. That is very, very rough. So lasting more than five minutes in this thing is actually quite an achievement. Or you gotta be pretty freaking lucky. Oh man, I wish I had... Uh, I wish I had the weapon for uh, for uh, Friday's Daily Challenge. Where I had Asheron. Asheron's cube would have done wonders on this one. Anyways, that is it for today's Ziggurat video. I think it's gonna be a nice short uh, little introduction to the gauntlet mode. And I'm definitely going to be playing some more challenges in there. Um, if you do have some demands about characters that I play in the gauntlet mode, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. As for me, I'm Raven, and I'll see you soon.